guys, Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is how do we manage this all? How do we work full time and run a reselling business? I've been doing it for two years and I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on managing my time, structuring my days to allow for this. So I do work full time. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to run out to kind of like what my week looks like and then how do I fit in reselling. If you are new, I am a licensed pharmacy technician and I work full time in our local hospital. Uh, we do work 12 hour shifts similar to nurses. So I usually leave the house at seven and I get home at 8 p.m. Typically my work days are Monday to Wednesday, three days, 12 hour shifts. That's full time for us. Sometimes I have a week where I only work two days. Those are nice, but typically I'm trying to hit those full-time hours. Now you're probably wondering like, how do I resell? So I'm gonna tell you guys, I consider my resale business a full-time business as well. My sales gross between 1,000 and probably $1,200. That's kind of my average. I am selling on a couple platforms. I do have multiple sources of income for reselling. You're probably wondering like, how do you make this all work? And that is a great question. So today I'm gonna share with you how I manage my time, structure my days and block things off to be able to fit everything in. I also need to tell you guys, I take off most weekends. Like I don't do reselling on weekends. Weekends are my family time. Usually we're like on mountain biking or hiking, camping, skiing, snowboarding. Like we are an outdoor family and we're really busy. I have to make my business work in two days a week. The first thing we're gonna start off with, and I think this is the most important thing when you start to think about how do I structure my week? What do I have to do? Is you need to know your numbers. If you don't know your numbers or you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna pop a video up here and this is where I explain it. You need to know how many items do you need to source, how many items do you need to list, and what are your sales targets for the week to hit your sales target for the month, right? Like what amount of money are you hoping to make and how do you figure that out? If you don't know how to, again, check out that video and I'm gonna explain it to you. Once you know your sales target and you know how many items you need to list to reach that, it kind of has like sell through rate, all that kind of stuff. Then we, we know, okay, this is where we start with. So for me, it's 50 items a week. I need to source probably 50 to 60 items. I have to list 50 items a week. I think anyone can do this with one to two hour pockets of time throughout the week. You don't need to have like big chunks, like a full day to do it, but you can do this in small pockets of time, but you have to use your time wisely. Once you know how many items you need to list, then your first step is sourcing. I usually do all my sourcing in two to three trips or two to three stores or stops, I don't know, <laughs> a week. So I plan two to three. If I can get my 50 items in two trips, then I don't bother for the third. I save that time and I put it into another area of my business. When I go out, I know what trends, I know what styles, I know what brands I'm looking for. I've already done all that research. I'm doing that in bed for like the last 10 minutes before I shut off my phone. If I'm going sourcing the next day, I'm gonna look at solds in jean shorts or sweaters or jackets or shoes or whatever I'm trying to source that day. I also make sure that I'm going to the stores that give me the best bang for my buck. That means that when I go there, I know that I'm going to find items. The stores that I walk in and I only ever find like two or three items, they are not my priority because to me, when I only have so much time to go sourcing, I can't waste my time. I have another video. I'm going to pop it up here. And this is where I kind of explain some sourcing hacks. If you didn't watch it, I actually have a seven part series back in January where I kind of break down all these things to help make daily sales. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. There's so many great tips, information in there that will help you in your reselling business. Now we've set out how many thrift trips you have to do and be quick, like know what you're looking for, flip quick, get in and out. I rarely spend more than an hour and a half in a thrift store. If I can't find what I need in an hour and a half, I'm probably getting out. I don't go to every section. There's certain categories that I just don't source in because I don't see enough of a profit return on the items that I'm sourcing in that category. And I'm gonna be honest, the one that like comes to my mind really quickly is tank tops. I do not source tank tops. If I come across them and they're a good deal, I will grab them, but I do not go into that section 
and look through it because the profit margin is just too small for me. There's some important tasks when you're reselling. Number one is sourcing. Number two is your prep work. Three, you want to photograph them. Four, you got to list them. Five, you got to put them away into your inventory. And six is shipping when you make the sales. We covered kind of sourcing prep. I do that all into batches. If I bring like 20, 25 items home, I have enough hangers. I hang them all up right away. I steam everything. I start my steamer up. It doesn't take very long. I recommend get everything prepped so that when you have a pocket of time to do some photographing, everything is ready to go. My next step would be photographing. I can typically do probably 30 items in 30 minutes as long as they are all prepped. What I will do is I'll just put them on my hook. I take the same pictures on each item and get them all done. Do you see what I mean? I have a process for everything. When I do listing, I turn off all notifications. I hunker down and I list. If I'm just doing straight listing and I don't have to do a bunch of comp searching and looking for stock photos, they tend to go pretty quick. Listing my, we'll say 50 items, that means I have to list 25 each day. I can typically list 25 items in the morning. If you aren't a very quick lister, this is something you need to work on. Go through my tips for resellers playlist and I have some videos in there on how I list quickly and give you some idea on where you can improve. The next step is gonna be inventory. I really, again, suggest you have a rock solid inventory system. I have a video, I'm gonna pop this. I feel like I'm just referring a lot of things, but there's so much information that for me to just do this video and break each one of these things down, we would be here for an hour. Make sure you have an inventory system. Make sure it's simple and it's efficient. When you do, once I have everything, I've taken my photographs, I've listed the items and I put them in the Ziploc, I use recycled numbers. So basically when item sells, that bag goes to the side. When I list an item, I take it and reuse that inventory number. It's just a SKU number to me. I don't keep everything in spreadsheets. I know some people do. I don't. I run cash in, cash out in my business. Once they're all in the Ziploc bags, I just take them up to my inventory room and I put them away quick. Everything is in numbers. Each bin is 25 items. So like one to 25, 26 to 50. You get what I'm, what I'm saying? So it's pretty quick and easy to put them away. Then I'm done. The next thing I would have to do is shipping. And again, I have my shipping station all set up. All of my supplies are within arm's reach. I can ship items pretty quickly and efficiently. And especially since I have an inventory system, it's so simple. Like I look at the SKU, I pull the bag, I pop it in a poly mailer, stick the label on, toss it in an Ikea bag to go to the post office. That is literally it. So that is my process front to end. Now, how do I block off my time? In a typical day on the two days that I am not working and I'm working on my business, I try and list 10 items in the morning before I leave to go sourcing. Then I, so we'll say from 8 a.m. till 10 a.m., I'll list 10 items. These are usually things that I have already photographed. They're just kind of waiting to get listed. Once I get 10 done, I will go do some sourcing that'll be from like 10 till 1 p.m then i come home quickly prep those items steam them whatever i have to do lint clean them photograph them and i will list them i will finish listing so my goal is 25 listings a day two days a week that's 50 new listings a week that i'm able to put into my closet and really like that's it that is your typical day those are the tasks that you have to get done. Now you don't have to post all these listings. You can put them into your drafts. What you could do is take all your photographs. And I know some people list while they're sitting on the couch or they list in bed, really whatever works for you, but you have to have a process. You have to have blocks of time and you have to know your numbers. You cannot go at this aimlessly every week. I've saved my best tip for last. And uh, I think this is actually probably the most important thing when you are listing or doing tasks at home. Are you ready? Turn off your distractions. Honestly, the best thing that I do is ignore my phone, ignore distractions, turn off your notifications, put it in airplane mode, do whatever you have to do, but get rid of those distractions. We waste so much time going on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever, whatever your app is that you like to go to, but we waste so much time. You have time 
when you're watching TV, you have time when you're laying in bed, you have time when you're sitting at the doctor's office to do those things. When you are working on your business, you are working on your business, no distractions. And the more you do it and the more you practice that no distractions and like committing to the work that you have to do, the easier it will get because it's, it's hard at first. It's really hard to shut off all the distractions around you, but the more you do it, I promise the easier it will get. Remember, we all have the same amount of hours in a day. We all have the same amount of days in a week. How you choose to spend those, that is up to you. I choose two days a week to work really hard on my business, focused, structured tasks, so I can enjoy Saturday and Sundays with my family. This is how I work full-time at work, at a job, and full-time at reselling and double my income. I just wanna say it's doable. If you're struggling or you're having troubles with it, drop in the comments, let me know what are you struggling with? Is there something in here that you're like, Tab, I have been doing this, it's not making sense, why can't I figure this out? Also, if there's anything in your business that you are rocking and you wanna share, drop it in the comments. Let us know. I'd love to hear what task or hack or process do you do that just saves you time, makes you efficient, and helps you, you know, slay your business. I wanna know. All right, guys, at the end of the day, just remember, plans are fluid, targets are goals. Obviously, we all have bad weeks. We all have weeks where we don't hit our targets. Don't beat yourself up over it. Move on. Create processes, structure your time, and tackle it the next week. All right. I hope this helps you out in your reselling business. This is everything I have. It's really not complicated, I promise. And uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm wishing you many sales. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. I'm waiting at the doorstep, finally home. I've been gone for too long.